Wilfred Happio. <laughs> many crazy. people may not have seen this the story. This is insane. This is absolutely a crazy story that I had to read three times to believe. He's a 400 meter hurdler from France, competing in the national championships. Was attacked by an unknown assailant on the warm up track. 20 minutes before the race, his coach had to pull the person off of him, who was subsequently arrested. He goes on, runs the race wearing, he had a patch over his eye, like a bandage over his eye, and then pulled his headband down over one side of his eye to cover it. And I ends up running a personal best. Um, he was reportedly, according to the article in the Telegraph, coughing up blood moments before the race. Oh. Reasons of the... For the attack, still unknown, and he got punched several times. Uh, he said after the race, I don't want to dwell on it. We'll leave that to the competent people to talk about the race. We worked a lot. Um, and then his coach said, a guy who came from nowhere asked if it was really him, Wilfred Happio, and threw himself on him. I belted it. It was 20 minutes before the race. We were ready to go to the call room. We're in shock. He says, the guy was arrested. Wilford is fine, but I'm speechless. It's a mess. Sheer aggression. It's outrageous. These are savage methods. So, I haven't seen anything like this before. Have you? I mean, the closest thing was Nancy Kerrigan and Tanya Harding, right? Where they send out a hitman to go after the competition. But this is a unique well, situation where it's 20 the minutes before the race. This is 20 minutes before the race, not a, a random different, you know time yeah uh, do we so they say they don't know who it is do you think yeah. there's a chance that the person doing this is associated to one of the competitors that he was racing against there's a french formula hurdling rivalry that, that goes that deep that i was not aware of i mean why else would you attack a random track athlete unless you know I this didn't... is the french championships that you have a better advantage if Clearly, he was the best runner in the meet. So, I don't know, man. It, this is wild. Then do we need gets a PR. more secure? Do we need more security now at like warm up tracks? Oh. Well, I they need more was... than they had. Clearly, the security. guy jumps. And that's a hard. We we saw the amount of security at the U.S. Championships. Your badge gets checked every fifty meters there. So to have someone uh, hop on and do that is nuts. That's crazy. It must have been Flip so Jimin much adrenaline Eugene. going through his system for those 20 yeah. minutes and then ultimately the 60 ish, the under 60 seconds of the race. Because you are just kind of like, if this happened to you, and then all of a sudden you got to put an all out physical effort, put your body through like yeah. the pain and effort after just getting this attack, it's, it's probably his brain also, you're is hurt. probably like mush after this because it's so much endorphins and emotions you're having to compete imagine with having one eye he, he's only using one eye to compete too i can't think he's practiced that very much and it's the hurdles like that's disorienting to, yeah. to run an all-out race yeah. and i don't so i don't think he would have had, covered it up if it wasn't a major injury too just goes to show you how how brutal the attack was if he had to how much damage was done if he had to cover up his eye like that but Wilfred Happio. We'll say this. We'll talk to him at, we'll talk about Worlds. We'll see him at Worlds. It is badass. He does look like a badass. I'll say that. Right? The photos? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like badass. He's like, yeah, you can try to beat me up. I'm still going to just patch myself up, get on the track, and, and run a personal best. Like, it's kind of badass. I mean, yeah, obviously, you this, want him to be okay and safe, and that's priority, but he kind of looks really cool after the fact he'll, right I mean, he'll tell the story he'll tell the story hey i got this guy attacked me 20 minutes for a race and they'll say what happened next so i ran the fastest time of my life that's what happened next wait a minute didn't Amb pierre ambrose boss get attacked at, at worlds the 800 meter remember. world champion yeah. did he get attacked let me do some googling uh the first one police make arrest and attack on 800 meter okay this is from the ap F this yeah. is from august 31st 2017 french police have arrested a man suspected in beating uh injured 800 meter and injuring 
animated world champion Pierre Ambrose Bras, an official close to the police investigation, said the 24-year-old man in custody has a record of acts of violence. Um, oh, after a night out. Yeah. Well, punched him in the it's... face. The athlete said he had multiple facial fractures in what he described as a violent assault by three people. Yeah, what is going on? What's going on with French track with runners? Being French artists? sports stars. This is insane. This yeah, Stephen like... brings up the 04 marathon when the guy tackled um, Vanderlei de Lima, which had obviously a huge impact on the race because the race was actually going on at that point. But an attack 20 minutes before the race, I, just, I haven't seen anything like that. Yeah, we need to do the <laughs> investigation into what's going on at French track meets and French nights out afterwards. That's, that's crazy.